Good morning, it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inc. Today we are going to draw a chinchilla. They look like a cross between a squirrel and a mouse, maybe a little bunny. I don't know, they're adorable. Um, they look about like this. What you need to join in is gather up a piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, and an eraser, or you can use the back of a pencil eraser. You don't need anything fancy. All right, put me on pause, gather up your supplies, and come right back. All right, I'm going to move my guide, and we're going to start at the right-hand side of our paper with an oval. The oval is going to be about this big, about like that. Um, if you've never drawn with me before, you're using your pencil. I'm using a marker so you can see me better. And we're going to create this shape using our whole arm from our shoulder. I'm just going to go around and around and around. It's a little bit bigger than an egg. Creating an oval there. This is going to be the face of our chinchilla. Um, they have these super cute, adorable ears that live off the back. So we're going to draw two ovals. Uh, one on this side, nice and light with your pencil, round and round you go. And then one on the other side. This one's going to be just a little bit bigger. We're using some uh, perspective here. If you imagine this to be a whole ball, um, this oval lives on one side of that ball and this oval lives on the side closest to you. Inside that last oval that we drew, we're going to add another oval toward the bottom, about this big. To get the smaller shapes I'm doing here, I'm planting my wrist and I'm just using my fingers. Up from there, we're going to add a little diagonal line to kind of create a triangular shape there. Then along the bottom, we're going to do one little mimicking line about like that. I say mimicking line because it's just kind of imitating that oval shape that you just created. In the long run, uh, we will erase all of these pencil guides, so uh, just be nice and light and loose with them and uh, forgiving with yourself as we get through this beginning part. We're just creating all of our guides. All right, right over from that ear, let's add in a little arc. We're going to get that arc by planting our wrist and just moving our fingers. Um, if you plant your wrist and you move your hand or your fingers, they're going to kind of go in that natural shape. So that's why I say to plant your wrists. Now, just where we ended that arc, we're going to add an oval shape for where their eyes sit. Um, it's going to be about this big. It's small enough where we're just using our hand and our fingers. So they've got like a little eye socket that their eye sits in and now inside that we're going to do a circle for their eyes. They have these bright, beautiful little eyes. They're about like that size. Now above that eye we're going to draw a little dot and an arc right over the top. Just kind of darken that top part. Same thing along the bottom. It's going to give us our eyelid and uh, the base of our eye. Let's go down to the little nose area. Um, they just have kind of a tiny little nose. It's going to be represented with a little triangle here. We're going to let this side of our oval be one part of that triangle. We're just going to draw in and up for the other part. And right next to that, we're going to add in a little circle in our little mouth. It's going to be about this big, just like that. All right, inside that circle, let's add our little um, areas where we're gonna have, um, they've got like almost like little freckles and then they have whiskers coming off. So we're gonna add the freckles. We'll add the whiskers very last thing. So we're gonna do a series of three dots. One, two, three, straight down from each other. And then just down from that, another series of three, just like that. And then one more series of three. We're kind of in a little diagonal there. All right, on to our body. This little guy is sitting on his back legs and he's got his front hands up. Maybe he's eating something. So we're going to add an oval. It's going to be about this big and it's going to be tilted up toward that little head. So we're going to add an oval this big. We're going to start up by the ear and just nice and light. Draw in a nice little oval, just like that. Round and round you go. 
until you get your shape. If you decide it's a little wonky, now's your time. Um, take a second and fix it. Just keep going around until you get the shape that we're talking about. The back end of our chinchilla, we're going to draw a circle about this big. This is going to end up being our little chinchilla's um, hip and uh, probably the top part of his little leg is tucked in here too. This little crease, kind of like we've done with other animals, this is like their little hip. That's the little bony landmark we can use to let us know where do things live. All right, next up we need some little feet. The foot is gonna line up right here and just kind of cut into that circle we just drew. And we're gonna draw the foot with just a simple little oval, just like that. Now we're gonna add in the foot that's on the other side of our chinchilla with another little oval, just ever so slightly smaller. Now our chinchilla, <laughs> they're awfully cute. Um, their little arms are very tiny. So they've got like this first section of their arm, which would be like our shoulder to our elbow, is gonna live from right about here, be an oval, nice fat oval that wide and long and from there we've got from elbow to wrist and this part gets skinnier these shapes are somewhere in between this larger oval I drew with my whole arm this next one also my whole arm this last one little tiny oval or circular shape at the end for their little hand holding that stuff up to their mouth super cute all right, now, another reason why I love the chinchilla, they seem to have a little pot belly. Um, so in between this arm and this leg area, we're gonna add another oval. It's gonna be about this big, and it's gonna kind of overlap that whole body oval that we drew, kind of poof it out there just a little bit. You see that area there? We've got like a little fat pocket. And then we're gonna add in a triangular connecting shape there just to connect it back to that oval that we drew. So pot bellies, I love it. Um, on their little fingers, for their little fingers, we're just going to simply add one, two little lines there. And for their little feet, at the very end of those ovals, we're just going to add one arc, two arcs, three arcs. They have like these little um, toes at the end there, so just add three little arcs the end of either one of those ovals. Now we need their tail. Off the back end of our chinchilla, the tail is going to kind of curve up. Um, so we're going to do this with three ovals. So we're going to do one oval about this big. I'm using my whole arm from my shoulder. And it lives right off of that little leg. And it's kind of fat. Their tails are thick. Then I'm going to do another oval about that same shape but pointed up. Round and round I go. And then the last oval is going to be a little bit bigger. Just like that. Just like I said, it kind of points up. Now, to get some fur detail in just a second here, we're going to add an arc that just goes from this second oval up into that third oval. So plant your wrist and just draw a nice little arc right up about the center of those two shapes. Just like that. Now we need some connecting triangles to connect that tail back to our body. So where our ovals meet up, we're just going to simply draw that one little section of a triangle. Um, I'm using more of a curved line, um, but let me show you. Like here's our triangular shape. So when I say connecting triangle, it's kind of that um, negative space there to use an art term to get uh, that shape. One more to connect to the body. We need one at the base of the tail. And then this last little section. All right, let's go back up to our little eye and add in some highlights. We're gonna add in three uh, shapes. We're gonna add a little circle here, another circle here, and then let's do a big arced shape. Almost looks like a smiley face. Two eyes and a smile. Now do another little section of that smile. Here we go. The more uh, highlights you add in these little critters' um, eyes, the sweeter they look. So this little guy is super sweet. All right. Um, 
Let's practice two things before we switch over to our marker. For the whiskers that live right up here, we're gonna just, with our pencil, we're gonna touch it down just in this area where these little freckles are. Touch your pencil down and flick it. So you get the idea. Different lengths, different sizes. This is where their whiskers are gonna live and it's just a simple touch and flick. Now when you flick it, it makes it lighter at the end, darker at the front. Touching, holding it down, and flicking it will give you that lighter line. Now, as I said before, they look a little bit like squirrels, and this is the part where, besides their coloring, um, this is the part, their tail is the part that definitely looks like a squirrel. So at the end here, where this larger oval is, their fur starts to look a bit like a squirrel's tail. So the reason we drew this arc up the middle is we're gonna use that as a guide. We'll just do a few so you can get the idea of the, the shape that we're doing, but you're touching your pencil down to that arc and then just kind of flicking it out as you go up and you're keeping it kind of contained within this circle. Their tails aren't quite as bushy, but from this section up, they're pretty bushy. So you're going out, touching and flicking is how we're gonna create that. All right, so now that you've got that idea with your pencil, we are ready to switch over with our marker. Can you believe it? We drew it that quick. Pretty cool when you break something down into simpler shapes how fast you can do it. If you were to color your chinchilla, they have like darker fur on the top and then it gets lighter as it goes down. A little bit of dark around the base of their, their um, foot there. Let's start up on his cute little head. We're going to start right where this face oval meets up with this second ear. So we're going to draw over top of that oval and go all the way around our little face and stop when we get down to the nose. Now you see I've got some lines that are on the inside here. I'm not going to worry about that. Those will all get erased in the long run. Now we're going to cut up where we drew that little triangle. We're going to give him this little nose and a hint of that other line. Now we're going to go around a little bit of this circle along the bottom. Down and around. I like that. Just like you're giving him a little smile. Let's go back up and do this ear. Now this ear is on the other side of the head, so we're only going to see this top part. So draw right around the top part of that oval. This other ear, we do see most of it. So we're gonna start down here at the bottom and draw right over top of the whole oval all the way back to right about here. So let's go all the way around, going around that oval. You've already done all the heavy lifting, so you're just kind of tracing over the lines that you drew. Now, um, you're just picking, like, my marker's kind of thick, so I just go over a bunch of the lines. If your marker's thinner, just kind of pick your favorite line and trace over that. You've done all the heavy lifting, so now it's just the time to trace over what you've got. So inside this little ear, we're gonna use this triangle and this oval to give us like a little flap of fur. So we're gonna go down that triangle to that oval, all the way like that. We left a little bit empty at the tippy top there. Now we're gonna draw that little mimicking line. So we've created this inside flap of his ear. Inside that little area, just give a little back and forth to hint about some darkness where the hole for his listening would be. All right, now we need, let's add in this little diagonal line that we drew, or I'm sorry, arc line. We're gonna trace over that. Let's go in and do this little eye. We're gonna do the arc over top and a little arc underneath and then we'll draw around our little highlights so we don't accidentally color those in our little smiling highlights it's funny that that ended up being the shape and then fill in the rest of that circle with your marker nice and dark look how sweetie just got super cute I'm gonna add in a few little dots across the top they're gonna kind of connect to hint at some eyelashes. Can you see that? Just some little dots. They're just gonna live right along there um, just to give it some more sweetness. Now this oval that we drew around, oh, I just smudged my marker. This oval that we drew around that eye, 
we're going to draw around the top part of it a little bit here and a little bit here so let's do the top it's going to be about like let's go to the edge of that eye and draw along that top part just like that so you're kind of lining it up with that edge of the eye and going around the top part then right below that eye the area that's closest we're going to draw a little bit of that and then down low a little curve around there almost like if you were a person and you had some bags around your eyes <laughs> you say you're tired um, that's what that that's just kind of giving us an idea of uh, where that fleshy part of that fur would be let's add in um, a little wrinkle underneath our ear with just a simple little mimicking line there all right let's go up and do the top part we're gonna go down this oval and connect on to the tail. Let's go ahead and do that around that oval. I'm kind of planting my wrist and going along. If you need to um, move your hand at any point, do that. It shouldn't feel uncomfortable when you're drawing. So down and around we went. Now let's do their little hips. So this circle here is, is their leg. We're gonna start from right about here and come down to this front oval around that circle past that oval down to that second oval we'll let it overlap just a little bit because like i said they get a little chunky so their their leg is kind of living on top of their foot a little bit now let's do um underneath here we're gonna go a little over that foot and move my hand and go around the base of that circle and then up the tail we're just gonna do about that much of the tail for now we'll save that detail for last all right let's work our way uh, from the face back we're gonna do the hand next so we're gonna or the arm so we're gonna go like from the armpit around that oval so there's their little armpit up to the front oval now let's go from the top of that little hand back just a tiny bit around that oval back to where they meet up and stop now they've got some little chin action going on there so that's not super defined so we're gonna hop back on this little face circle and we're just gonna give a little hint of that there and there now up here by their ear we're gonna add in a little bit of that face oval as well we're going to give them one more little wrinkle with just a little mimicking line. All right, let's hop back on this hand. We're going to go around the base of that oval and then just add in their little fingers. Now for their bellies. Okay, so we're going to see the belly. Let's see. Actually, let's do this bottom foot because then that'll let us know how much belly to show. Um, so for this bottom foot, we're going to hop around the little bit of this oval along the bottom a little bit of the oval around the top and then when you get here we did a little around there we're just going to add in those two little arch lines now we can do our belly so we we know our belly is going to live in this space here so we're going to go around this oval hop onto that little pot belly and up now we can just see a tiny bit of that back foot so we're just going to give a little hint of the back foot all right now on to our cute little tail we're going to draw like we just practiced this part up we're just going to do touching to that arc and out with just kind of some touch and flick you're going to end up doing um, multiple to kind of fill in that space and as you go out you're just kind of trying to make sure that it fills in that oval so you'll kind of go that way on that side and then curve your hand so you can get an arc going the other way. Touching that arc line and kind of curving it around as you go out. This part of their tail is kind of full, so you want to go over it a few times. And it's kind of messy too, but it's more compact than a squirrel. It's not quite as fluffy as a squirrel. All right, once you feel like you've got a denseness that you like and you can see that it's got some shape to it, you can stop. 
and we'll just feather it into this other section by just doing some simple little lines like this. Just about like that. All right, let's add in one more little detail and then we'll be ready to erase. Actually two, sorry, we need our whiskers and we need some dots. This little section above their eye be like their eyelid. Um, we've got like a really pretty little darker section of fur there. So we're just gonna add some dots right along that arc. They're gonna sit on the arc and just kind of go up. About like that. Now we are ready for our freckles and our whiskers. Where you've drawn your little dots, go ahead and draw your little dots. Kind of, if, if you can't figure out exactly where they are, just, just uh, place them kind of in an, an approximate area. Now let's add in those whiskers. It's a touch and a flick, touch and a flick, whoop, touch and a flick. Just like that. We've got a super cute chinchilla. Um, I was excited about this one. I didn't realize how cute they were until I looked them up. We're ready for our eraser. I'm going to switch back to my guide because I drew this one in pencil. And um, I will erase right along with you. You're going to steady your paper with your non-drawing hand and then just simply start erasing. Back and forth you go. If you have an area that's a little bit darker, take a second, go over that a couple times with your eraser. Make sure to move your non-drawing hand um, right along with you as you go so you don't accidentally crinkle your paper because that's a real bummer when you crinkle your paper. I do that kind of often when I'm doing these with you guys because I'm not paying attention and I'm talking. Um, all right, so send me your drawings. Uh, you can put them on Facebook right in the comments. If you're joining in on IGTV or YouTube, you can send them to me through my website. I will put them up on my website, RebeccaInk.com. You can find them under the Interact tab. It's fun to see what everybody's drawing. You can also request a drawing on there or you can request a drawing in the comments. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at RebeccaInkabink. Facebook, um, Rebecca Inc., YouTube, Rebecca Inc., uh, and website, Rebecca Inc. All right, thanks for drawing with me today. Stay positive, be kind, and um, I will see you soon. Send me your drawings. Bye.